Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today we're going to prepare for writing essay number one. When you're on Canvas's homepage, click on module and scroll down to module one, fear, scroll down to module one, race and fear in America, essay number one. So let's look at the directions for essay number one. You are going to be writing a 1500 to 1750 word essay based on one of the following prompts. Assuming that every page you type is approximately 250 words, that means the essay is approximately five to six pages. I'm less concerned with the word count than quality of your writing. Choice number one is to describe a personal experience with racism that either has happened to you or you have witnessed. It could be something you saw on the news, something you've read about. Then you are to make a connection between that incident and Coates's experience. Explain the long-term effects of this experience and give advice to someone who may encounter a similar experience with racism, just as ta Coates is giving advice to his son. You do not need to write about racism. You could also write about a time you were afraid. In that case, you would once again make a connection between what made you afraid and the source of ta Coates's fear. Explain the long-term effects of this fear and give advice to someone who may encounter a similar fear. Both of these topics you brainstormed in the last quiz. To meet the requirements for the grading contract, your essay will be assessed on the following areas. Unity and organization, ideas and support, style and mechanics, and documentation and use of sources. You will be using MLA format. If you are unfamiliar with MLA format, I've left a handout for you. Go back onto the home page and at the bottom, if you click on MLA format, it will open up to a document. It'll open up to a document that'll remind you how to do MLA format. Before you write your essay, you should begin by writing an outline. Click here for a sample outline. You can think of your essay divided into two, into two parts. Part one of the essay would be summarizing ta Coates' views. If you pick topic one, you are summarizing his views on race, followed by an analysis. Why are his views on race important? What can be known about Coates in his ideas and philosophies by looking at his points of view. If you choose to write on topic two, you're summarizing what does Coates say about fear? How is fear connected to the black experience and the black body? And then you'd analyze why are Coates' views of fear important and what can be learned about the black experience and the black body from these views. The next section of your essay would be your experience. In this case, either your experiences with racism or your experiences with fear. You'd begin by describing your, the incident with fear or race that you experienced or you witnessed. How did you respond at the time? What have you learned about society and others from this experience? And what have you learned about yourself from this experience? These are very in-depth concepts and we'll take some time to think about. So spend some time brainstorming your ideas and gathering them before you write. As with all good essays, you'd have an introduction paragraph. You'd start with some catchy opening or hook to draw in your reader's attention. You'd give some background information. For example, the article title, Between the World and Me, the author, ta Coates, and what's the main idea of the article. You'd have your thesis statement. A thesis statement is a one sentence answer to the writing prompt. Then in the body paragraphs of your essay, once again, part one would be ta Coates's views, part two would be your experience, and then you'd end with a conclusion paragraph. Once again, you'd restate your thesis, then your universal truth or your global insight. What can everyone learn from ta Coates's experience and your experience with either fear or racism? And what advice would you give others about either racism or fear, depending on your topic? When you finish writing your sample outline, go back to the module and you will be submitting it under outline for essay number one.
you'll be your next step will be to write your essay your complete draft that means 1500 700 1750 words and you're going to submit it by june 17th at 11 59 p.m i also want to point out to you one more time as part of this assignment you should be using your summary skills so you probably want to go back to the templates for summarizing and when you summarize ta Coates' view on racism and fear you should be using some of these verbs and even some of these templates that's what i would expect to see in your essay if you have any questions please make sure you send me a message through the inbox and i will get back to you within 24 hours thank you for joining me today in flipped classroom